After a decade as the chief of the South African National Defence Force, General Soli Shoke has hung up his uniform. The new chief, General Rudzani Mapwanya, was sworn in at a change of command ceremony in Centurion today. ENCA's Barry Bateman reports. The precision, skills and training of the SA National Defence Force were on full display. As well as some of its most sophisticated fighting machines. And parachutists delivered the scroll with the Chief of Defence Force Oath of Office on it from the sky. The Commander-in-Chief of the SANDF, President Cyril Ramaphosa, was in attendance, seated among the top brass. Outgoing Chief General Soli Shoke thanked former President Jacob Zuma and Ramaphosa for having confidence in him. But his heartfelt gratitude was to all South African soldiers. I'm greatly humbled to stand before you in my capacity as outgoing Chief of the South African National Defence Force. Never in my slightest dreams did I ever think I will live to see South Africa that is free, let alone to serve in uniform and ascend to the highest office and rank and be at the helm of the South African National Defence Force. For that, I would like to thank all of you. It was then time to hand over command to General Rudzani Mapwanya. As an incumbent in this post, I, General Soli Zakaria Shoke, now hand over command of the South African National Defence Force to you. God bless you and the South African National Defence Force. Mapwanya joined the ANC military wing in Sizwe in 1978. He was absorbed into the South African National Defence Force in 1994. In 1999, he was transferred to the Special Forces Brigade, where he served for a decade, eventually being appointed as the elite unit's commanding officer with the rank of Major General. In 2019, he was promoted to Chief of Joint Operations with the rank of Lieutenant General. He has now been sworn in and promoted to the rank of General. So, I, as Chief of the South African National Defense Force, will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa, uphold the Constitution, the Defense Act of 2002, and all other law of the Republic of South Africa. Mapwanya inherits a defense force that is in decline due to year-on-year -year budget cuts. As a parting shot, Shoke said he would be on the sidelines calling for the government to increase the SANDF's budget. Barry Bateman, Tabatswane.